Well, Ahmed Kesser is an associate professor of political science at Hassan Kalyoju University, and he joins us live from Ankara. Ahmed, thank you for your time. As we just heard at the end of our colleague Andrew Hopkins' package, this grain deal is up for renegotiation again. How is Turkey a place with regards to mediation? Is it confident that we can have this renewed? Uh, thank you very much, first of all, for having me. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, it started on the 19th of November for 120 days more. And in mid-March, I think on the 17th of March, it will come to an end. So again, new negotiations will start if it will be prolonged or not. Of course, the Russia uh, will come out, come up with some claims that the, most of the grain does not go to those countries who are in the need most. For example, when we look at the percentages, the African countries, I think, receive only 12% of the whole grain types. And the lion's share go to European countries with 53%. 29% uh, goes to Asian countries. And so uh, these claims of Russia should be satisfied, first of all. But uh, to be honest, I am optimistic uh, that it will be prolonged once more. But of course, Russia will claim that they should go to those countries who are suffering for the shortage of food the most. And second, also the Russian products should be taken into consideration, not only the Ukrainian grains. So if some promises can be given to satisfy those claims, I think, uh, we can see that it will, it might be prolonged once more uh, for another four month period. Ahmed, that's exactly what I want to ask you. Good to see you. This is Ali Jan. Um, in, in, in the first and uh, first uh, agreement, as well as the renewal, the inclusion of Russian exports, whether it's crops, grains, or other fertilizer, was not included. Uh, do you think 2K can play a, um, a, a vital role in sort of enlarging? the compass, the scope of this deal, um, uh, so it can make, it can be beneficial for all sides. Uh, Alijan, uh, I think Turkey can play an important, significant mediator role in this one, because uh, as we have experienced after the earthquake as well, Turkey is the only country which is, for example, housing and welcoming the research and rescue teams from both Ukraine and Russia at, at the same time. So uh, the role is really like a bridge in between the countries. So I think this time again, uh, the personal relations between uh, President Erdogan and President Putin and President Erdogan and Z uh, Zelensky uh, may play an active role in this one. And I think the claims of Russia can be satisfied in this way, uh, so that uh, I'm optimistic. And this can be prolonged at least one more time, uh, because this does not only for the interest of the human beings. When we look at the 13 different types of the grain, they include also like uh, sugar beet pulps uh, for animals, uh, for uh, uh, domestic uh, stock, uh, livestock feeding, uh, stuff, uh, stuff as well. Mm. So uh, that's for humans and for animals as well. So uh, this should be solved again, I think. And Turkey will play an active role in this one, I am sure. What about if we move away from the grain deal and we look at peace negotiations themselves? Turkey, of course, was uh, holding those early peace negotiations uh, at Dolmabahce Palace in Istanbul. How do you see Turkey reviving these, the prospect of a peace deal, bringing Ukraine and Russia back to the table? Turkey had early success, but it stagnated. How can they revive the process? A very, very significant question, actually. Uh, I think uh, to bring the uh, conflicting countries to the table again and to end the conflict, might be connected at least uh, one of three issues uh, to be handled. The first one is if one of the conflicting countries uh, may lost all its power or will for to go on the conflict, 
when we look at the situation, we don't see now because Ukraine is being supported by the Western countries and not uh, lost all uh, its power or will for conflict. When we look at Russia, the same status. The second is, in one of the conflicting parties, the government might be, uh, let's say, uh, with an internal impulse, uh, lose the power in the country. Actually, we don't see such a situation also both in Ukraine and Russia. The third and the last one, maybe the intervention of international com community more actively in the military operations like NATO interve intervening or United States intervening. This might first escalate the situation or may enforce one of the parties or at least Russia uh, to give up or to come to the negotiation table. But in a, uh, let's say, very uh, close period, uh, I don't see any chance for this one. Uh, so the negotiations, I think, will not start until the end of this summer as well. Because when the spring comes, we will see that uh, the useful environment and the climate is again starting for conflict for the troops in the field. So mm -hmm. Ukraine is declaring that they are ready for counterattacks. Russia is declaring that they are ready to attack till the border of the Poland. So both countries insist that they will keep going on the conflict. Mm. So I think uh, a hot summer is again waiting for us. Well, hopefully we aren't talking about this at the two-year anniversary. Associate Professor Ahmed Kesser, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much.